Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Don and you're watching VR Gamer Dude. And today, well, we have a very large package to unbox and I can't thank our good friends over at Cat VR enough for sending a Catwalk C2 core out to the studio. So I have been uber curious about these omnidirectional treadmills for years, but unfortunately I've never really gotten to try one. So is this gonna make me feel like I'm in Ready Player One? Is this going to make me feel like I'm on the holodeck where I can just walk forever infinitely? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. So in this video, we're going to get this thing unboxed. We're going to get it set up and then I'm going to give you guys some raw first impressions. Let's go. So first off, when you finally get this thing delivered, it's big. Like, I mean really big. It all comes in one large box that weighs in at about 146 pounds. Now, once it was in the studio, it was finally time to unbox this beast, and man, let me tell you, this thing is packed really, really well. All of the components are packed up tightly in a very well-sealed box. This was great to see and makes me feel confident that for folks ordering a catwalk that their treadmill will most likely arrive undamaged. Now, after taking everything out of the box and getting it all laid out, it was finally time to start putting the C2 core together. And I have to say, for the most part, the assembly was pretty straightforward and not too difficult. All in all, it took a little over an hour to go from in the box to a fully assembled treadmill. So after the installation was complete, the last thing to do was to get the software and the shoes all set up. To get the shoes ready, it was just a simple insertion of the sensors and some positioning of the Velcro strips, and then the software needed, we just took a trip to Kat's website to grab the files, and once they were installed, the rest of the setup went pretty smoothly. Once done, the treadmill and the shoes connected right away and it was time to take my first steps. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, here we are. I'm gonna take my first steps. Okay, wow. Definitely gonna take a little getting used to, but I can see the potential already. Right. Let's see if I can run to the end of this hall here. A little hard to keep yourself going straight. Okay, so I have to say I am super impressed with the build quality of the Catwalk C2 core. This thing is sturdy, even for a big guy like me, and after only using it a few times and seeing how securely strapped in I am while I'm walking on it, I can say I feel confident and safe now that I'm not going to fall over and it's not going to tip over. So, now, speaking of the walking, everything I read or heard about prior to receiving this treadmill is definitely true. It does take some getting used to, but I'm happy to say that after only about an hour, I was already starting to walk, run, and jump on the C2 core like it was second nature. And with each new test of a game, it seemed to get easier. So I think the big trick here was finding that perfect center of balance and placement and tightness level for the harness. I also noticed that starting with the beginner positions on the Velcro for the shoes made it super hard to walk, so honestly, I just skipped straight to the advanced placements, and even then the shoes still offered a lot more resistance than I had anticipated. So a quick trip to the internet, and boom, I found a great solution, and one that has made walking on the catwalk so much easier for me, and that was just adding more loop Velcro. So, this brings up the big question most folks are probably asking about now, and that is, well, does the walking feel in any way natural? And I have to say, honestly, no, it doesn't. Not at all. We, we as humans don't slide our feet when we walk, so I guess the best equivalence here would be that it feels more like skating. And... When I took my first steps, I'm not going to lie, I was already thinking, whoa, there is no way this is ever going to feel good in a game. But that's where I stopped and remembered that the trick with this device is all about relearning how you walk and finding your perfect center of balance. Once I took the time to do that, something in my brain just clicked, and all of a sudden, I was having one of the most immersive experiences I've ever had in VR. Walking through VR chat somewhat naturally kind of made me feel like I was Wade Watts running on his omnidirectional treadmill through the Oasis from Ready Player One, and being able to casually stroll next to a roaring river in Skyrim or walking across vast planetary surfaces in No Man's Sky without boundaries... Man, that brought me to levels of presence in these worlds that I have never felt before, thus bringing me one step to my personal dream of being on the holodeck from Star Trek. So overall, I have to say, so far I am super impressed with the Catwalk C2 core, and I can't wait to dive in deeper and start using this in some more games. 
There are so many new possibilities for virtual exploration that this treadmill brings, so I'll be playing around with it more and getting to know its ins and outs and pros and cons. And then in about a month, I'll be back with my full review for you guys once I've used this and gotten used to it. So if there's anything you want to know in that full review or just in general, throw it in the chat. I'll be happy to answer your questions there as well as consider incorporating them into the review later next month. So either way, thanks for watching. I'm glad you guys stuck around to the end of the video if you made it this far. And I will see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.